It is Wednesday, August 19th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including China battles once a century floods as Typhoon Higos bears down. Also, courtesy of RT.com, more than 100,000 evacuated as southwestern China stricken by worst flood in decades. Next, courtesy of Reuters, China rain swollen Yangtze River triggers unprecedented flood alert. And finally, courtesy of Xinhua, in pictures, Chongqing hit by severe flooding. We also have some new footage playing in the background of today's video. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video, while researching for these reports I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And a quick look at the status of the water level at the Three Gorges Dam before we get started. The current water level at the Three Gorges Dam is 160.68 meters. The current inflow is listed at 74,000 cubic meters per second, and the current outflow is listed at 49,400 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. And one last interesting piece of information before we get started. The photo you see in the background is from the 1931 flood on the Yangtze. I'll read the tweet. On this day in 1931, the Yangtze River in China peaked during a horrible flood that killed 3.7 million people directly and indirectly over the next several months. This was perhaps the worst natural disaster of the 20th century, though an ongoing civil war exacerbated the crisis. And our first article is courtesy of AsiaNakai.com. China battles once a century floods as Typhoon Higos bears down. Parts of China were hit by what officials are calling once in a century flooding on Tuesday with a typhoon hurtling towards the country and expected to make landfall during the daytime on Wednesday. Days of heavy rain have already broken dikes and inundated towns in the central province of Sichuan. Triggering fresh warnings around the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, which flows into the Three Gorges Dam. Authorities in Sichuan on Tuesday raised the emergency alert to level 1, the highest on a four-level warning scale, after the Qingyi River and its tributaries overflowed. More than half of the area of the town has been inundated. China Daily quoted a local official in Zizong County as saying, The road leading to the town has been flooded, and the town itself has become an isolated island. Since June, China has been grappling with a series of devastating floods concentrated in the southern and central regions. The water level at the Three Gorges Dam, one of the world's largest, touched a record high of 164.2 meters in late July. The maximum is 175 meters. Now comes the seventh typhoon of the year, Typhoon Higos, which was generated by a tropical depression in the Philippines and is expected to hit the southern province of Guangdong on Wednesday. The Hong Kong Observatory warned on Tuesday of approaching rough seas and strengthening winds, advising against water sports and fishing in the open sea. Authorities are taking flood control measures at dams along the country's longest waterway, the Yangtze. At the Three Gorges Dam, flood water discharge was raised to 44,000 cubic meters per second, up from the 42,200 cubic meters per second on Monday in anticipation of higher inflows from upstream rivers. The relentless flooding has raised concerns about dam safety. As a result of the massive inflow of water, upstream dams are themselves under increasing stress as flooding inundated their catchment areas. The Heritage Foundation, a U.S. think tank, said in an August 5th report, China's losses are expected to rise in the coming days, only complicating their recovery from the pandemic. The country's consumer price index rose 2.7% in July picking up from the 2.5% in June, partly due to pork price increases and the disasters. Accelerating food prices and overall CPI inflation leaves the authorities with even less scope for policy maneuvering, warned Indo-Economics in a research note on Monday. Despite a better-than-expected economic growth rate of 3.2% in the second quarter, S&P Global Ratings stopped short of classifying China's recovery as self-sustaining. 
China's economic data for July provide more indication the recovery remains unbalanced and reliant on extraordinary policy support, S&P said on Monday. And this comes courtesy of RT.com. More than 100,000 evacuated as southwestern China stricken by worst floods in decades. Authorities in China's southwestern Sichuan province have raised the flood emergency alert to the highest level for the first time on record as local rivers broke their banks and flooded the city, sparking massive evacuations. Continuous rainfall has caused the worst flooding in Sichuan in some 70 years. More than two dozen of the region's major rivers overran their banks with muddy waters flooding urban areas. The streets of Lishan, a major provincial city located at the confluence of two rivers, have been almost entirely submerged by water. Footage published by the Rupley Video News Agency shows fields, streets, and highways in the devastated city inundated by the flood water. Locals can be seen crowding the flooded streets or navigating submerged sections on boats and improvised rafts. More than 1,000 city residents were stranded on Fangzhou Island after the flood cut off road access. Emergency services had to deliver them food and water via helicopter as they suffered from supply shortages for nearly a day. The floods also affected the Lashan Giant Buddha, an 8th century 71 meter tall stone statue situated outside the city. The waters reached the toes of the figure, prompting police to take measures to protect the site. Over 100,000 people have been evacuated from the various flood-afflicted areas of Sichuan province, according to the Chinese media. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And this comes courtesy of Reuters, China's rain-swollen Yangtze River triggers unprecedented flood alert. China's biggest river, the Yangtze, and several of its tributaries have risen to dangerous levels after days of heavy rain, forcing tens of thousands of people from their homes and triggering an unprecedented emergency response alert. China has seen unusually high levels of rain this flood season, with southwest and central regions in the Yangtze River Basin bearing the brunt of the flooding. The Ministry of Water Resources said on Monday that 38 tributaries on the upper reaches of the Yangtze were now higher than their warning levels, 19 dangerously so. The southwestern province of Sichuan, which includes a major upstream section of the Yangtze, has raised its flood emergency response to its highest level, the first time it has ever done so, with its rivers overflowing and villages and farmland inundated. The Qinghi River, an upper Yangtze tributary, had seen its worst flooding in a century, Sichuan's Flood Control Authority said, with the city of Ya'an forced to evacuate more than 36,000 people as the river burst its banks on Monday. The Yangtze and Huai River basins have seen the highest level of rainfall since records began in 1961, officials have said. As many as 634 rivers throughout the country have exceeded their official flood warning levels. By last week, 63 million people had been affected by floods, 12.7% higher than the average over the past five years. And our last article is a series of photos released by Xinhua, Chongqing hit by severe flooding.
And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.